Yeah, let's start with the navy of uh, our new electric giant. This 956EV which we made it on the reliable platform of uh, the well proven L958H, it has an advanced and mature technology as well as it has an excellent performance with a high efficiency as well as it is very silent and it emits zero and it comes up with a very fast charging which is of just one hour and with a long endurance of about six to eight hours per charge. Okay. And though it's a fully electric and at a high voltage, it's very safe and risk-free for operations. And it's well protected with multiple options. Now when you look at the configuration, it comes up with the LFD batteries of 282 kilowatt hour. And also it comes up with the two motors, one for the working hydraulics and another one for your transmission. And also it comes with the SLG heavy duty axles which is same with our existing Pro 1958 and also it comes with the electronic control joysticks with the load sensing, hydraulic as well as steering and it comes with the operating weight of 19.1 ton with a payload of 5.5 ton with a standard cubic 3.6 cubic meter bucket with a maximum traction of 1.170 kilo newtons and also with a tipping load of 11,240 11, kgs. Now this is the wheel loader structure, we made it very simple, instead of an engine there is a battery pack as well as motors fitted to power the machine for both the propulsion as well as hydraulics. Yeah. When you see the wheel loader electric structure, it has an intelligent VECU, we call it as a vehicle ECU that gets signal from the operator which is from your gear selector or from the levers that converts that low voltage signal into the high voltage signal through our power distribution unit as well as look at the uh, whatever energy stored on the pack which goes to the battery management system and then the power distribution unit distributes it to the motors as well as to the drive lines. As I said that there is a one motor which is with the 125 kilowatt rated power which is fitted on the transmission which has the maximum power of 240 kilowatts as well as with the rated torque of 1200 Nm, it is only for the transmission and the peak torque it can go up to 2600 Nm meters. Next slide please. Yeah, when it come to the hydraulic motors, it has a rated power of 105 kilowatts with a rated torque of 500 Nm meters and with a peak torque of 1000 Nm as well as with 180 kilowatt. Yeah, when you see the features and benefits, first one as we said it can work at any environment even at uh, from minus 25 degree of to 55 degree ambient temperature as well as with the attitude even above 4000 meters. It means even it can work in places like uh, Ladakh or even Jammu Kashmir any places with the higher altitude also it can work. 
when it comes to cooling system it has two cooling systems one for an active cooling which is to cool down the battery so that we can maintain the optimum temperature of the batteries so that you will get a better efficiency of the batteries and also we have a passive cooling which is for our normal cooling system as well as for the motors when it comes to hydraulics as i said it's a load sensing hydraulic system with gear pumps it has two tandem pumps one for your hydraulic one for brake and as well as for your steering and it has a pilot servo so it makes it very easy and simple for the operators to use when it comes to cabin as usual it's an ergonomically designed ac cabins with the suspension seat with the adjustable uh, as steering as well as the support system when it comes to drive line it comes up with the automatic transmission with two forward and one reverse gear and also comes with a sglg heavy duty dry axles with a fully hydraulic brakes when it comes to the emob which is the electric side this machine gets charged though it's a very massive machine it gets charged in 1 hour whereas the endurance time can vary between 6 to 8 hours of operation with a single charge the machine can be operated for 6 to 8 hours and it's it's equipped with a fast charger with a dual gun option which can charge up to 240 kw in an hour okay when it comes to the styling of the machine this machine comes with a head series outlook as well as with a new cluster which gives more information about your battery system your working hours your energy consumption as well as the efficiency and also it comes with all led lamps for better working operations and for better safety it comes with standard beacon like rotating beacons as well as with the hd reverse camera so that the visibility or in working in a dark place also it makes much easier and much safer for the operators when it comes to the structure as i said earlier it come up from the same platform of l958 which is a box type frame which is a well proven and we have been using it for ages and also it comes with a standard long boom so that it can load any trucks including volvo fmx 460 or any other trucks which are elevated body it can easily load and also it comes with a long wheel base of about 3.45 meters so that the stability of the loader is much better okay when it comes to the other safety aspects this comes up with a sealed battery so that it is well protected from dust as well as from water so that these machines even though if there is rain you can still use the machines without any risk and also it can be performed or even the operators can do the performance very easily and also it comes up with the sglg standard telematic system so that the owner or the site in charge can exactly see the machine where it is working how it is performing what is the performance what is the efficiency and also the energy consumption and as well as they can compare the performance with the previous day as well as for the previous week as previous month also and every month they can generate their all these data are available in the mobile app itself so the customer can see all this machine data in a app itself so on the go they can see all the details yeah next slide please yeah when it compared to an ic engine machine what is the difference or what is the advantage see these machines as i said it comes with a well fine tuned vecus so that the performance is much better than you can say simply the performance wise it would be 15 to 20% better than the conventional ic engines when it comes to the <coughs> sorry also it comes with the confluence flow so whenever there is no hydraulic or steering function the same oil will go to the other function so that the red power needed is much lower and also it comes with a higher tractional forces because of the high torque of the motors it has better tractional force as well as breakout force compared to an ic engine and also it has a regeneration function it means when you do a braking or else when you do a reversing this machine gets charged by itself so your endurance time will be gets increased by doing this you get about 15% of extra kinetic energy cost because whatever we buy we see first what's the cost yes the capital cost will be much higher but when it comes to the cost optimization it would be on an operational side it will be much lower than an conventional ic engine how it comes is uh, any 5 ton or a 5.5 ton wheel loader or a diesel version it consumes about 15 to 16 liters of fuel per hour whereas this machine will consume about 40 kilowatt hour in an hour okay the energy costs today diesel is about 95 lit rupees per liter whereas the energy cost is about 10 per unit it's about 10 rupees 
So if the machine is operated for about 15 hours in a day and 25 days in a month or annually about 300 days in a year, the cost saving only on the fuel aspect it will be about 50.5 lakhs in a year. So every year the customer can save about 50.5 lakhs of rupees just on the fuel side. Apart from this, all the new machines you have a additional requirement of today's machine because of the BS norms. You need to add ad blow. That is also concerned. That cost is reduced as well as fuel adulteration, dust entry, all these aspects you can avoid. And second, any machine, the most wearing part is the engine. This machine doesn't come with the engine. So your maintenance cost will be drastically reduced because there is no engine, there is no maintenance, no engine oil change, filter change, fuel filters, air filters, nothing. <coughs> so with all this, totally about you can say 53 to 54 lakhs per year the customer can say. With all these aspects, if you consider whatever the cost that two times or three times of the diesel engine machine cost what the customer pays, it can be return. The return of investment will get it in about one and a half to two years maximum. Next slide. So how much will be the approximate energy consumption? It purely depends on the load on the machine. If your machine, for example, if you have a diesel machine, which is consuming about 10 to 12 liters of diesel, there it will consume about 24 to 20, 28 kilowatt per hour. There the machine can work about 8 to 10 hours. If your fuel consumption is 13 to 15 liters, there it can work about 7 to 8 hours. If your fuel consumption is more than 20, there it can work about 4 to 6 hours. It all purely depends upon how much of load we put on the machine. See, this is not the first time we are displaying this because we unveiled this machine in Bauma, China, uh, Bauma, Delhi, where this machine was unveiled by our uh, Honorable Minister Nidin Gadkari and we have put it into several testings in India. So, as of now, we have about 15 machines working, working across India. The application we tried were iron ore mining, cement plants, steel plants. These are the major three areas we tried. The cumulative works of the machine supplied working across India is about 11,000 hours. The maximum hours clocked by a single machine is about 2,600 hours. There are three machines clocked about 2.5 k hours and the other three machines clocked about 1.5 k hours. And average endurance time what we get per charge is about 7 to 9 hours. Depends upon the application. And as of now, we don't have any issues, major issues reported. These are some of the Indian application pictures. You can see it worked in a truck loading, it worked in a hopper loading in cement plant, as well as in a crusher plant. <coughs> you can see a working video of this machine in one of the iron ore mines. You can see the Volvo truck has been loaded in less than two minutes. 
This is about our electric. We don't have only electric. We have a conventional diesel machine also. We have introduced a new one of L956H. You can see it on the other side of the boat. See, whatever we have seen, the electric one was a 5.5 ton wheel loader. Whereas we have one more conventional IC engine 5 ton wheel loader. We just launched it in Nexcon yesterday. Yeah, here I will not talk much about the product because it is a conventional IC engine product. But the only highlights I could say is this comes with a highly efficient energy saving CV5 based engine. Okay, It comes up with three power mode options. So the operator can choose the modes which they want. Depends upon the application they use. It comes up with a high traction as well as breakout force. It is more flexible and it is a best in class working efficiency. Why we say best in class working efficiency? In the fight and category, if you see, we come up with the best in class or the highest dumping clearance because we always offer the standard long boom and also it comes with a highly reliable SGLG planetary transmission as well as with the heavy duty SGLG axles and it, as usual with all, like all of our machines, it comes up with the economically designed spacious AC cabin with LCD panel upgraded which gives you more of, more the options like showing the fuel consumption, your working mode as well as the error system, everything the operator can see from the operator seat itself. I will just put the brief spec of this. This machine comes up with a 230 HP engine power and also with a torque of 1150 Nm which is again I would say the highest in the class of this, these machines and comes with a 3 power mode option and comes with a standard bucket of 3.1. But the bucket options can be very depends upon the application from 2.5 to 4.7 cubic meters. It comes up with the operating weight of 17 tons and the rated payload of 5 tons with a wheel base of 3.3 meters and with a hinge pin height of 4.47 meters and with a dump height at a 45 degree dump angle with 3.42 meters with a minimum ground clearance of 435 mm and also with comes up with a standard tires of 23.5. 25. When it comes to the features, as I said, it is a fuel efficient CV4 engine with a high power and high torque, with a heavy duty SGLG transmission and as well as with the ax uh, heavy duty axles. It comes with the two forward and one reverse gear and with a head series outlook and also with the extra la working lamps for working the machine in the dark or uh, in night applications and also with the heavy duty structures and with a single joystick lever application and also it comes with a standard AC cabin and it comes with a multiple options of buckets and again these machines also have the SGLG GPS app ok that's it I have for you thank you